Welcome to Tasmania. This is Wandle Falls. It's on private property. It's a pretty difficult waterfall to find, um, but worth it. Amazing. We only got off the Spirit of Tasmania at about 7 o'clock this morning, uh, and we're already exploring waterfalls. We've been to a facility. So, yeah, welcome to Tasmania. Loving it. Here's our camp, night one, Tassie trip, looking out over Bass Strait. A few hours ago the water was up to the top of these rocks here, but right now we can pretty much walk to Melbourne, it's gone out that far. But still a cracking spot. Day two and we're packed up early and on the road to head to Dip Falls, which is one of the larger waterfalls in the northwest section of Tassie. And as you can see, we've been pretty lucky and ended up with it all to ourselves. So I'm about to sneak down to the creek bed and take some photos. Down here at Dip Falls, it's uh, about 10 a.m. The sun is coming from over the top of the falls though, so it's a little bit tricky, but hopefully we can still get some images of the falls without the full sun on them and blowing out the highlights. What I've done is move back to try and get some of these ferns in the shot. Uh, they're moving around quite a bit, so what I'm gonna do is shoot multiple exposures of different shutter speeds to try and get the ferns still and then overlay the still layer in the other layer in Photoshop. Uh, see how we go. Just down here at Trawada Arch, there's a little tip given to us by a bunch of a few locals. Told us to come down and have a look. It's a really magnificent little spot. There's, you can see the arch down there in the background. And uh, Nice little walk down, but very, very busy. So I didn't get any footage of me shooting down there, but because there's such a massive dynamic range down there, I've had to shoot five images at each location that I shot at to try and get the shadow and light in uh, correct. So uh, we'll see how that turns out, but yeah, nice little spot anyway. Little echidna just wandering through the grass here. Hello, little mate. There he goes. Sitting in the car here at Cradle Mountain, waiting to get up. Uh, since about October, I think it was 2018, they've decided it would be a very good idea to stop private cars going down between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7:30 p.m., which means there is a constant queue at 7:30 waiting to get in to the park, and it means there's a massive rush getting in. Bang on 7.30, it's friggin' stupid. Up here at Wombat Lookout in the Cradle Mountain district, looking at, I guess that's Cradle Mountain over there in the background, and looking down over Wombat Lake and back into Dove Lake over in the background there. Well, Wombat Lake's actually down there, but hoping to get some sunset colors. I've got a little bit of cloud forming over the back there now. So I'm hoping to get a little bit of colour. Got the camera set up with the uh, 4 ND soft grad. Um, hopefully help control the brightness of the sky and bring out the shadow in the lake. Um, bit breezy, hell of a hike to get up here because of those stupid rules where they don't let you into the park with a private vehicle until after 7.30 p.m. But we're here, we're gonna see what we can get. Trying to get this last bit of light off the sunset with this path leading up to um, the top of the mountains there and that little bit of pink that's showing up there and uh, wasn't able to get the positioning I wanted 
So I've shortened one tripod leg so it's on the bench and the other two are hanging off the side so that I get the path sort of coming out the left hand side of the screen and into the screen. So yeah, racing. Driving back from Cradle Mountain in the dark after doing some sunset photography and we came across the most amazing thing, a spotted quoll killing a tiger snake. Have a look at the photos, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in the wild.